And welcome to Ozarks Live. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, it's, good to it's, see a, you again. it's good to see you too. Holiday week. So, yeah, I know that's so much fun. I can't believe it's already here. It, it is mm -hmm. this this weekend, you know, started out kind of nice on Friday and then just went phew, right down the tubes after that. Yeah, it really Ooh. did. It really did. It's gotten cold, I guess. I mean, I haven't been out since this morning, but. We had some really good weather, and then it just kind of went. Kind of frost here. today. Really, yeah. And it was chilly. And a fog and a frost uh -huh. and all that kind of stuff. What'd you do this weekend? I understand you were busy with something. Yes, my unusual. Son, my son is, was rebuilding the engine for a 1970 Honda 600 coupe. Okay, it's like a clown car. It's <laughs> first of all, the engine is a two-cylinder engine. It's like a motorcycle engine almost. Yeah, really. Weird. Wow. And we found this years ago in a barn, and he's rebuilding it. And I got to be a young man again because he did just like my father used to. He didn't teach me how to do it. He would say, hold the light here. Yeah. Hand me a crescent wrench. Hold that. Go hand get, me. And that's what I did. So my son became my father for the weekend. It, it was Interesting. Something. We and need pictures next done. time. Yeah. All right. Pictures next time. Okay. We have got a great show for you today. Stanton Optical and the Rare Breed. The two are joining forces to help young people in need, and we're going to pay a visit also to a musical Branson eatery. Then we're going to introduce you to a brand new superhero in town, and we might have a few Grammy picks. Hey, don't forget turtin' back time. I was working on it, but if only I could. All right, but before we get to all that, we're going to show you what's on the radar. All right. I don't know if you've seen this, but ask yourself, how far would you go to save your pet? Okay. I would do almost anything, but would you wrestle an alligator? Again, if you have not <laughs> seen this already, I want you to look at what a Florida man did. Richard Wilbanks of Estero, Florida, took off after the gator after it snatched up his puppy, a three-month-old Cavalier King Charles Spaniel named Gunner. Here's what happened next. This is the moment Richard Wilbanks wrestles an alligator to save his dog's life. He just came out like a missile. The sound of his puppy's cries are too upsetting, so we're not sharing it. They're like children to us. Wilbanks pried open the gator's mouth and saved his dog, Gunner. He had one little puncture wound. My hands were just chewed up. Even after being dragged underwater in the jaws of a gator, Gunner is doing just fine. And I was able to save Gunner's life. But how did this terrifying encounter get recorded. All right, again, little Gunner's yeah. fine, despite being pinched in the jaws of the gator. Richard really only needed a tetanus shot, so the video was captured as part of a, a cooperation between the Florida Wildlife Federation and something called the F-Stop Foundation. So this project involves residents who live right around this area agreeing to put cameras in their yards to document uh -huh. the wildlife around them, and it's hoped the effort will reduce conflict at residential developments that encroach on these wildlife habitats that is the cutest pup in the world but here's my thing i would probably try to do the same thing but i could not forget that mama gator might be back there somewhere that little gator can do some damage to you don't kid yourself clearly but the like there may be more where that came from oh, I think yeah, is my thing. Yeah, yeah. bodies of water in florida you oh. stay away from gators like to live there the one thing i did notice from the video he never lost his cigar the whole time that's a pro right that there. is a pro okay <laughs> It's time once again to chat about, you know, a big Facebook debate question. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, our latest question. All right. Here we go. Time to weigh in. What is something that most people are obsessed with, but you just aren't? You just don't get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I know you said Star Wars. I mentioned Star Wars. That was one thing. I've thought of a couple more things, but what you have a laundry list of stuff. Well, I mean, you, it's like I said, reality programs. You're not into that? Don't Selfies. Get especially when the Taj Mahal is way in the back and you're in the front like this and you go, look, I was at the... No. You have I to prove see. you were there, Tom. No, no, not, you, you don't have to no do it that There's no proof if there's no selfie. If you've taken a picture of the Taj Mahal, I'm probably certain you were there if it's on your phone. You know, yeah, 
Yeah. So okay. No, no. So we asked you guys, like, what are you not fully buying into, right? right. That the rest of the world just can't get enough of. Um, so we're going to scroll down. To, well, pumpkin spice is all over this list. I mean, all over yes, it. Yes, pumpkin spice, anything. See, I'm with all of you on this one. Politics is all over it. I'm with you on that as well. Oh, um, it's Becky, horrifying. What? Becky, football. There, I said it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Becky's not into football. Um, some people just say sports in general. Uh, yeah. Frank Ferris says coffee because, you know, coffee is like the biggest deal. And I love coffee. Yeah. I do it, adore coffee, but it is kind of taken off on a life of its yeah. own. I like the one at the top, Russell Massey, Game of Thrones. Everybody loved that thing. I got in on the last season and yeah. it was interesting. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it sports in general. Um, Marlene or Marlena, Suzanne Mann. Uh, sports, yeah, okay. I can see. I can see some people that nah. Yeah. Now, some other mentions I noticed included in our viewers, and thank you by the way for weighing in on this. Include uh, NASCAR and auto racing. There are some people who just say I'm. I don't understand. Uh -huh. Round and round and round. And I say, all right. So some people weighed in on that. Uh, Tiger King. Not everybody had to I'm, be a part of the Tiger I'm King thing. Did I'm, you watch it? Yeah, I watched. Three quarters of one episode, and I said, I'm done with this. Okay. Yeah. Well, you really didn't have to watch it because everybody in the world filled you in. That's true. Um, That's keto. True. Some people uh -huh. yeah. just have had enough keto already. Forget about well, it. Well, there are too many of those, like, and I'm not saying this is one, but fad diets. They just, all of a sudden, they're the big thing to do, and it's like... There's one every 25 minutes or yeah, so. Yeah, and you just can't hear enough about it. Yeah. Um, you mentioned selfies. Sushi is one that some people go, I don't get the appeal. Right. Um, succulents, one of our viewers said succulents. Really? Um, here's one, TV and video games of any kind. Uh-huh. Um, and I get that. I don't want to taste drink something that tastes like straight up pumpkin pie. Uh, Hallmark movies, that was mine. I'm sorry, I don't understand the appeal. I've never seen one, maybe that's why. Okay, I, I mean, I, I agree with that, but you've never even seen one? No, I, not to my recollection, no. I don't, I, that does not sound like it's it, it remotely up my alley at all. Um, scrapbooking is another thing. <laughs> yeah. No, I can't imagine. I would have to be forced under duress to do that. I don't know why. But, you know, there are not hobbies all over the place. Yeah, and people who love it, love yeah. it, but I don't. Mm -mm. No, you're not. I'm not. No. All right. Anyway, thanks for all of your answers. We do yeah. appreciate it. And now uh, we hope you'll stay with us because Ozarks Live is just getting started. Yeah, we're going to talk to the rare breed next, so don't go away. We'll be right back with that.